each other. Uh, we can receive the greatest miracles, trusting God to do it, not only for us, but for somebody else. In Jesus' name, I just believe that it's done now. In the name of Jesus. Do you believe it? Eric 313-838-1035. Engineer, we knock no calls. Amen. Well, I don't want to play another song. I'm just sharing with many of you, if you would like to be a supporter or a partner, because we do need more partners with this ministry. This ministry has gone through some rough places. We're coming out of the summer months when most people take vacations and they're off for the whole summer. But we are still here in the atmosphere, in the presence of God, believing God for every lost soul in America and in China and in Asia Minor and in Russia. Oh, yeah, we believe for everybody to be saved. You thought we just believe for one, we believe for all. But God loves everybody in Australia, in Rome, in Italy, in Spain. My God, in Africa. Come on. United States, let's go to New York and let's believe that you hear us. Let's go to Atlanta, Georgia. Let's believe that you hear us. Let's go all the way to Florida and believe that you hear us. Let's believe God in Tennessee and Texas because one of my daughters just signed in in Tennessee. The spirit of God to bless so many of you right now. Come on in in California the Spirit of God to minister to you in Las Vegas. I believe that God touches the whole world, and I believe that he can do anything with any soul anywhere that's in the midst of a crisis God can deliver. Oh, yes, he can. The question was asked, is there anything too hard for God? And I'm here to serve notice on you, nothing, absolutely nothing is too hard for God. It may be hard for you, in the natural, but in the spirit, God can do anything. And I'm believing he's an on-time God. Oh, yes, he is. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Make that call. Area code 313-838-1035. My God, your miracle is just a prayer way. Sometimes people don't know how serious Miracles can be, and they can happen. Yes, they can. They can happen especially for you. You don't always see yourself clear or a way being made, but God has already made a way out of no way, but it's up to you to possess it right now. In the name of Jesus, Eric code 313-838-1035. If the lines are busy, you can call back. Also, you can call off the air to the prayer line and get your name in the prayer book, and that's 313-279-0558. My God, 313-279-0558. I'm believing God with you right now. In Jesus' name, we know it to be true. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, we'll take our next caller this morning. Margaret, number one from Southfield. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning to you. Sounded so good to me this morning. And I appreciate everything you're saying. And what you're saying is so real and so true. And just keep me and my children lifted up in prayer. And we'll keep you lifted up. And I'm, I'm planning to, I will be at your church Sunday. Now, that's my, Amen. that's my problem. I will be there to hear some more spoken word. Be blessed. Yes. Jesus, and your prayer. Bye-bye. Bless you. We love you, Margaret. I love you, too. Thank you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Eric code 313-838-1035. We'll take our next call. Rita from Redford. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor Jay. I kind of lost my train of thought here. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's the, um, mm, the best of the Lord brings wealth and adds no child with it. Uh, it's the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. That's what I got to say this morning. <sighs> Bless you, Rita. Here comes the rain, the overflow. Because you've been so so much of a blessing to others, God is going to cause you to be blessed and highly favored. 
you're one of the most giving persons I've ever seen. Oh. And God's spirit to begin to bless you. You ain't going to do nothing but give it away. But God yep. said, I'm going to bless you again. And I'm going to bless you again. And I'm going to bless you again. In Jesus' name. Here it comes, Rita. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. We thank God for the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. Terry from Southfield. Good morning. Yes, thank you so much. I think you are terrific, and I praise you, and I have only but the highest regard, and I bless you to God and to Jesus. And I just heard somebody on the radio say that if you would be driving and if a bee would be in your car, that if you send love to it and visualize that it's leaving, and you open the window that the uh, bee will fly out. So I'm thinking maybe we could do that with all of these satanic people or problems or bad things that are coming to us if we visualize it and love it away. Do you agree? And I would like to I agree. from A to Z. I agree. We don't have to fear the bee. The bee have to fear us. Because the anointing that's on our life was sending out so much love as he flies to and fro. In Jesus' name, as God blesses you this morning, I thank God for his spirit that's ministering life to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Anyhow, I give God the praise. Gary from Highland, good morning. Praise God, Bishop Tate, for you and for this day. I just with gratitude, I'd like to thank God for leading me into the jail. I know how that sounds, but I want to encourage people to write in me. The incarcerated are human beings. They show such reverence and, and such faith in the face of such despair. It just strengthens me, and I would just like to pray for them this morning. Thank you, Bishop, Amen. for all you do. You know, I, I got to get into that jail. This winter is coming in. You got I've been the in there before, your and i got to go back in there again and again and again. The jail you ministry got to open up. I think many times people don't realize they need love, too. They're human beings. Are they guilty? No. All of them are not guilty. And even if they is guilty, we're all guilty for not sending more love to them. I'm asking for God to show me how. I don't know how to do this. But I truly want to. Maybe it's a Saturday experience. I don't know what it is, but I've got to go into that jail. And I'm asking for God to minister and give me words to minister to those that are Praise prisoners. God. In Jesus' name, and God to bless you. As they encourage you, you encourage me. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God for that, Pastor Tate. You're, believe it or not, you're in the jail now. I, I use so many of the encouraging things you say in the jail, so... We, you you keep doing what you're doing. Don't beat yourself up. You can't stretch yourself too thin. Amen. Well, thank you. Praise God. I was um, in jail some years ago, and I met a man by the name of Coffee. Coffee, some kind of way, hurt me in jail every night. And uh, Coffee became a tremendous blessing. When he got out, he came to my church. Coffee met a fine woman, and he married her. And they went on to another church because they they had to get a mediator church. And it was all right. And Coffee is a great man of God to this day. This that that brother is a minister, and on fire for God. He's one of my sons. I thank God for him and for the move of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I give God the praise. We'll take our next call. Mother Mary, good morning. Oh, Jesus. We all want to call it. You know what? I thank God for all the prayer fathers I was talking to. Pastor Bobo, I was up and about still going on this mess with this money and these kids. But we prayed. You know, God is good and he's great and he's got me on point, focus, whatever you want to call it. Can't help me, please don't stop me. I went out to Kroger telling everybody, it's the high school is back. There's water over there across the street. 
They every time they pump it out the line, it's going to pump it these basements over here. I done told them about that, so God's going to take care of it. Only thing I want to do is to bless my family, bless the children, bless the, not only my children, all these children that get ready to go back to school and, and minds are all torn and these young ones thinking they grown and just a mess. But we've got to keep on praying for them because we're their future. See, we had parents that was left to five of us, you know, but now they think it's cute. It's that cute for children to stand up and tell parents what to do. So what we're going to do is pray. I'm going to get that head start together because I've been there, did that. God told me that's what I've got to do. Start from the bottom to the top. Sure, it's all good in the hood. Everybody, it's all right. God said it, he's doing it, and he's using me. I'm just a vessel. And DeWine is a messenger, but he got to listen to the message. So pray for me. I pray for you. And again, if you can't help me, don't stop me. Move out of my way and don't try to block me. I'm in a race, and I'm running. Running for the name. Running to the name of Jesus. In the name of him, let the church say amen. Amen. Because I, so I need prayer. You know how the tongue of mine gets a wagon. And, and the two that you go to the left more so than the right. But I've been yes. taught a different way. That only can do what I've been taught. My dad was a 33rd degree mason. And my mother was an angel. So I got to do what I've got to do. Miss G from the D. That's me. So pray for me. Help me. God to move on you right now Jesus. by his spirit. And God to deliver you and to help yes. you and to sustain you and to raise you Jesus. up. And to bring you forth for such a time that we now live in to do the bidding for the kingdom of God. Yes. In Jesus' name we Jesus pray it man. now. Amen. My God. Well, from A to Z. Because these kids well, got to learn and we got to teach them. Yeah, we this do. It's our responsibility. Now pray for me and I'll say I'm doing this money better than ever get here because I'm about sick of that. Pray, well, we give pray, God the pray. Praise. Stand on the battlefield. You are blessed and favored by God. Just hold mm. fast to it, okay? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. God bless Jesus. you. God bless you. Oh, thank oh. God. Eric code 313-838-1035. I thank God for the spirit and I give him praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, we thank him right now. Amen. We'll take our next caller. Jean from Inkster. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. I bless you too, sir. How are you doing this morning? The Lord is blessing me right now. This very moment, this very second, God is blessing. That's beautiful. I need some blessings. Right now. I'm going to yes, believe sir. and agree with you that the blessing I of the Lord will come down on you. Ways. Well, right now, that, that change can only come through salvation. Are you ready for that? Yes. I need Pray with me. change. Pray with me right now. Say these words. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I need forgiveness. I need forgiveness. Of sin. No sin. I say of sin. I need to be forgiven for sin. I need to be forgiven for sin. 